Hi, my name's Leo and I'm on a crazy mission to rebuild and restore this 1910 English gaff cutter called Tally Ho. Now I'm up here in Washington state on the Pacific coast of the US and uh, I've moved the boat here, I've built a, a shed over her, I've got a workshop sorted, taken some planks and the keel off and um, I've been away recently doing a bit of sailing work on a big schooner to help fund this project. Now, since I've been back here, uh, I've had an awful lot of chores to do. Well, as you guys know, we have a couple of really lovely dogs here, but unfortunately they sometimes like to use the area underneath my boat as a bathroom. <laughs> so uh, this is my dog poo fence, basically. And uh, it's really rough, but it does the trick. Another one of my chores was to go and collect all this scaffolding, which has been lent to me very generously by Daniel in Seattle. So thanks for that. I've also spent quite a lot of time dealing with a drainage pump that uh, has had all manner of issues. I'm not going to show you any gory details, but I've been spending a lot of time in here. It doesn't smell too great, so um, I'm happy that's over. I've still got a lot going on with uh, trying to find timber and dealing with the county about this shed. And uh, it kind of seems like it's all going on forever already, but Anyway, I've decided I've got to just stop writing emails and get something done. Next big project is to take the deck off, I think. Before I do that, I'm going to have to take some measurements, take a lot of photos and put ties uh, from one side of the hull to the other side. I've put in these uh, supporting beams and they tie in the two sides of the hull together and what that's going to do is when I take the deck off it's going to stop the sides of the hull from sagging away from each other and deforming the shape of the boat. So a lot of people have asked me how I ended up in such a nice workshop in such an amazing space with all these tools and I figured I'd better tell the story. When I first came to see Tally Ho she was in Oregon and um, I flew into Seattle and I met up with some family friends of mine. Now Raoul came down and saw the boat with me in Oregon and then he showed me around Port Townsend which is where I was hoping to take the boat. I was looking at yards and trying to figure out the cheapest and most practical place to put Tally Ho and then Raoul and Darlene suggested that I just do the project on their land. This is their workshop that they built years ago and uh, it was used for many projects but in the recent years it's just become really a place for storage. They were really happy for someone to come along and turn it back into a working workshop. I'm massively grateful for them. I mean anyone who owns tools knows what a big deal it is to let someone else use your tools with free reign and they really have let me just do what I want in here. You'll probably meet them in subsequent videos but uh, they live in their own house. I try not to poke my camera in their faces too much. So thanks Raoul and Darlene. Tally ho, couldn't happen without you. All right, well I've got a visitor coming. She's coming from Bristol, uh, which is where I'm from and I've known her from there for a long time. She's never been to America, so she's gonna come and stay with me for a while, help out around and on the boat a bit. I'm gonna go pick her up from the airport. Uh, hopefully she's not too shocked by this weather because it's just getting really cold now. I just picked Checker up. Hi. I don't like this camera business. <laughs> So uh, testing the pillows out here. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're trying to clear up a few odds and ends and uh, this massive freezer and the other one there has been uh, here getting in the way for too long so I'm going to try and get into the dub but it weighs about a million tonnes so it's tricky. <laughs> Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Hiding from the camera. Right, well, we've just dumped some fridges at uh, Around Again, which is a sort of second hand recycling centre. They've got some amazing stuff here for really cheap, so we're going to have a look around. I think there's nothing they don't have here. Have you found anything? They don't fit me. Maybe you should try them on. That is like the most stylish thing I've ever had on my foot. <laughs> you have to do them up. Nah, that'll be alright. You have to do them. Jesus. <laughs> Am I elegant? Uh. I'm elegant like a hippopotamus. <laughs> Are they a bit big for you, these ones? Yeah, they're like <laughs> four sizes too big for me. So we got the hatch off, tally ho, and uh, have a look inside. Hello. Hi. Is it comfortable in there? Yeah, cozy. <laughs> so I think Poncho is nesting at the moment. Oh, she's about to lay an egg or something. She's very aggressive. So I just took off this bit of trim and behind it just found the ship's official numbers. Official number 1251271111 and something. That'll be the tonnage. <laughs> So all I've done here is made a three-part purchase with a double block on the top and a single on the piece I'm moving and a piece of line going through them and uh, I've put a brace right up to the peak of the uh, shed here make sure it's got enough downward support and uh, I mean this hatch isn't that heavy anyway but it just makes a really easy way of moving heavy objects the, uh, the bigger hatch is a lot heavier Jamaican. Tatsuka. Like tomatoes and onions and eggs in it. So I'm trying to get the windlass off the deck and uh, I've got all the nuts off the bottom and I've tried jacking it up and hammering it and uh, it's not shifting at all so I think I'm going to have to split out the uh, big backing pad down here and uh, see if that'll loosen up a bit. It's 
still just moving the whole deck. It's really, see it's done there somehow. So I just drove a spike and a crowbar pretty far under the windlass and uh, felt it part from the wood underneath it. So that's good, it's loose, it's off. Now I've got to see how heavy it is and try and move it. Well, that is definitely too heavy for me to lift. I'm not going to make Jekka lift it with me. We'll leave that for now. Got someone coming around tomorrow and uh, hopefully he'll be able to give me a hand lifting it up. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, knocking these little plug things out. Got my first voluntary labour arriving this morning. Uh, a local guy called Tim who's going to help us out for a day. Hi, Tim. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, Thanks for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. This is super cool, man. Oh my god. How's it going there, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> it's stubborn, yeah. Yeah. So, Tim here is working on getting the king planks out and getting all the deck fastenings off. And uh, I'm trying to get this uh, cockpit combing out. So I've got most of the fastenings off and uh, just starting to jack it up now and try and get it all out in one piece. Because uh, these are all nice big teak boards and uh, it would be a shame to cut them up because Hopefully we'll be able to use them later on. We're making some progress, and uh, Tim's been taking off the king planks here, which is great. And he's just about to get the Samson post out of the bow. There we go. Look at that coming right out. Nice <laughs> job, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tim. Yeah, you're welcome. Been a uh, great help, great having you on board. Sure. And uh, we're gonna see you again. Yep. Uh, just give me a call, and uh, I can come by next week and give you a hand again. Perfect. Ah, roll escaping. Lock. Shit. Whoa. <laughs> well, it's the day after Thanksgiving here, and uh, that's all I got for you this time. So, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. And big thank you to everyone who's donated to or otherwise supported the Tally Ho project so far. It's much appreciated. So uh, I'll be back next time with uh, more boat building and less roller skating, perhaps. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you then. Cheers.